What's up, YouTube? It's VLD and Magneg face mounts are a thing for the iPad Mini 6. Are they good or bad? Watch and find out. Hello, YouTube. It's VLD. Like always, I'm coming back. On the left, you have the iPad Pro. On the right, you have the iPad Mini 6. From the size difference, you can't really tell the difference. But the Pro has the smart connector, the Mini 6 does not, so it relies on Bluetooth for any accessories. But besides that, you can really tell the difference besides the sizes. I mean, they almost look the same, and with them being about the same, they come with caveats. They both have magnets on the back, and the Pro has more love because it has more magnetic attachments to it. I have built my own magnetic vase mount in the past year or so, so therefore, I'm able to mount it like a computer monitor, turn it anyway, adjust it any angle for drawing or anything else, which it's phenomenal for sidecar for that. And there's nothing like that for the Mini 6. So I've always had my Smarty Vesa arm mount, which kind of worked fairly well, but it will never be the same as what I have for my Pro. And there's always a fix to that. I bought this off Amazon. It's a Ludulu. Visa mount. It's for about 70 bucks. It's essentially the same thing with some pros and cons to it. I've had a couple of them like that in the past, but this one's a little bit different. On the bottom, you have four rubber feet to make sure it doesn't slide or go anywhere, which is good in my opinion. And it's like a hard metal. It's not super cheap and it's not super premium. So it's not too bad feeling overall. I can't really tell the feel of it, but one good thing about that is the neck. The neck is adjustable, so you can adjust in two different angles with the pivots that they have built in, which you can take that apart with like a hex screw. So they thought about future-proofing, which in my other video, I was thinking about making a VS mount with this, but this model will not work for my needs. So the other one I did in my previous video works out fairly well. Just because of the design on the back, how it's built, it doesn't really work out too well. With this device, you can rotate it 360 all the way around for your iPad, and you can go up and down on two different pivots. You have the back one, and then you also have the front one too, so that's actually not that too bad. You can also collapse it a little bit too, so if you're maybe traveling with it, that could be a good thing in my opinion. But with a whole 360 opinion of it, it's not too bad overall. It attaches via magnets on the back, which the Mini 6 has, which not really many too, too many accessory makers really take advantage of that, which is kind of sad, because it's basically just a pro, just shrunk down. And then while it's attached, you can rotate it 360. You have rubber, so it's on metal or metal contact to scratch your Mini 6. And essentially, you can turn it into a miniature iMac, what some people might like, some people might not like, but I have different uses for it. I can do a lot of game streaming for like Google Stadia, like Red Dead, Doom, or just a bunch of other Xbox games or this or that really, which I like to do in my free time. But always make sure, hit that subscribe button, and you know, if you actually like my channel a lot, you know, give it a thumbs up, just in case, you know, to help my channel out and grow. But besides that, it can actually hold your Apple Pencil 2, and you can actually rotate it, even with a sleeve on it, so it's not going to fall off or go anywhere, which is another plus in my opinion, because I've had some accessories where even with a sleeve on, your main 6 will not actually work with it. But with this, it will actually charge your pencil, and you can rotate it any which way, which I like the dual pivot, just because you have more of an angle to it, and you're able to adjust it more positions if there was only one. And with it being magnets on the back, it's easy to pull off and then reattach. And then with the whole 360 aspect of it, it's not that bad. I, I do like the dual pivot just because you can adjust it any which way. So if you want to go a little bit higher, lower, angle it a little bit more, I do like that. But there are a couple other brands with that where it doesn't actually do that. And then also with the magnets, they're not actually coming off at all. So they are fairly strong. Once you put it on, it's not coming off. And with it being a hex in the back, you can take them out if you really want. It's just your own opinion of it. But being able to actually rotate it 360 and then adjust it any which way, 
It's not too bad if you want to put it on your desk, do some drawing, play some light gaming, watch a couple of videos. This is an amazing companion device to your main computer. Or if you're an artist, this table is a lot better just because you can angle it in more precise positioning and the base is pretty big. So if you hang it over to the side or put more weight on essentially one side of it, it's not gonna really go anywhere just because the base is a lot bigger. In my other review coming up, I'll do a comparison between the two of them because there's only two of them out right now. But I feel as if this is more of a stronger position and a stronger basically product overall compared to the other one. I mean, look at that picture. That's top A artistry right there. And then with that, you can adjust it up or down with a two pivot system, basically. You can do a lot more with it than just one. So you can raise up and then down or down or up any which way. But just having a two pivot system, in my opinion, is more superior than just having one. So I feel this is more of the better bang for your buck. You can get this on Amazon for about 70 bucks right now. The other one is about the same price, but I mean, it's just that easy. You know, you get home, you take it with you, you put it on your desk, you just attach it, and you're just good to go from there. Like, I, I love devices like this. I wish there are more devices that can take advantage of the magnets on the back of the Mini 6. This is like only the third product I've ever really known to have actually have done that. It's pretty sturdy, it feels really good. It has easy repairability because you can take it apart via hex screws on the back. So all in all, I'm a huge fan of this product. This is going to be my daily driver for a while. It's just a really good product. I approve of it and I'm you going to pretty much use it daily. But I'm your host, VLD. Smash that, smash that bell and subscribe. Signing out.